Hi, in this presentation, I will explain another chapter based on the thermodynamics and engineering approach book, specifically energy analysis of closed systems. The topics included in this chapter are shown here. At the end of this chapter, students should be able to analyze closed and open thermodynamics systems using the first law of thermodynamics. We begin with the moving boundary work. The work associated with a moving boundary is called boundary work. One form of mechanical work frequently encountered in practice is associated with the expansion or compression of a gas in a piston cylinder device. During this process, part of the boundary moves back and forth. Therefore, the expansion and compression work is often called moving boundary work or only boundary work. In this chapter, we will assume the moving boundary work for a quasi-equilibrium process, a process during which the system remains nearly in equilibrium at all times. Consider the gas enclosed in the piston cylinder device as shown in the diagram. P is the initial pressure of the gas. A subscript P is the cross-sectional area of the piston. If the piston is allowed to move a distance ds in a quasi-equilibrium manner, the differential work done during this process can be described by the given expression. The boundary work in the differential form is equal to the product of the absolute pressure P and the differential change in the volume dV of the system. Since P is the absolute pressure, thus it is always positive. However, the volume change dV is positive during an expansion process, 
and negative during a compression process. Therefore, we can conclude that the boundary work is positive during an expansion process. And negative during a compression process. The total boundary work done during the entire process as the piston moves is obtained by adding all the differential works from the initial state to the final state. On this diagram, the differential area dA is equal to P times dV, which is the differential work. The total area A under the process curve 1 to 2 is obtained by adding these differential areas as defined in the given expression. The area under the process curve on a PV diagram is equal in magnitude to the work done during a quasi-equilibrium expansion or compression processes of a closed system. A gas can follow several different paths as it expands from state 1 to state 2. In general, each path will have a different area underneath it. Since this area represents the work's magnitude, the work done will be different for each process. The difference between the area under path A and B is the net work done during a cycle. The colored area represents it. Therefore, we can calculate the area underneath graphically to determine the work done by plotting the PV diagram of the process using given data points. The following example involves air in a piston cylinder device and it is compressed isothermally. Before we solve the problem, we must first specify the assumptions for simplification as the following. Three systematic steps can be used to determine the work done of the system. First, we must determine all the related states of air using the ideal gas equation of state. Second, we sketch the process on a PV diagram. And third, establish the equation to be used to determine the work done during the process. The properties at state 1 can be quickly be determined since the initial volume, pressure and temperature of air have been given as 0.4 cubic meters, 100 kilopascals and 80 degrees Celsius, respectively. Therefore, these properties represent state 1. To determine the properties of air at state 
to the ideal gas equation of state can be used. We know that the temperature inside the cylinder is constant throughout at 80 degrees Celsius. And the final volume is 0.1 cubic meters. That represents the volume at state 2. Since the temperature and mass are constant, we can quickly solve the state's ideal gas equation to solve for P2. Based on the calculation, P2 equals 400 kilopascals. After the related properties for states 1 and 2 have been determined, we can easily sketch the process curve of the system on a PV diagram. The total boundary work done during the entire process as the piston moves is obtained by integrating all the differential works from the initial state to the final state. For simplification, using the ideal gas equation of state, the symbolic P can be described by the following expression. The capital C is a constant. Solving the boundary work will give the following equation. The boundary work equals negative 55.5 kilojoules. The negative sign indicates that this work is done on the system, which is always the case for compression processes.